Hey everyone, Nick here again with Imagine Wireless, and today I'm going to show you Swipe Pad for your Android device. So, Swipe Pad is a very fast and very easy way to get to a lot of applications that you use quite frequently. And yes, you can use your multitasking window to view recent applications that you have to toggle between them and go in between them. But if you're like me and if you're on the go and uh, let's say for instance you're in your music player and you want to send the name of a song to one of your friends or whatever, generally if you don't have your messaging thread open in your recent apps, you'd have to hit home, open up your app drawer or scroll and open up a new text message to send to your friend. Very nice thing about swipe pad is you can actually swipe in from the side of the screen and launch an application that you have set. I'll show you just how to get to it. So first things first, you want to open up your Play Store. We want to search Swipe Pad. And for this tutorial, I just downloaded the free version, which I find works quite well. I'll explain what all comes in the paid version as well. We'll go open. When you open it up, it'll just tell you what it's about. Do you accept this? Whatever. Uh, just hit yes. So what I have set for right here is enable swipe pad, haptic feedback, you see where this little red line is? That's my uh, hotspot zone where I can swipe in and launch these applications that I have preset. You can set that for anywhere that you want on the screen on the sides. I set mine for the right just because that's what came preset and it works quite well. Um, you can also have it for a sound on launch to play a little cute sound for when you launch it. And for me, I took the icons off in my notification tab just because I don't want too many things going on there. And if you remember from the last video tutorial, if you remember from the last video tutorial, also because I got my notification here, I don't want to clog up my notification bar with too many things. And then down here, you can also message the developer on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. If you love the app, you can donate by buying a drink or buying the developer a cake. I think that's really funny that he or she put that in there. So when you have your main settings all set, you want to go into your hotspot. This is the default setting that it comes under, the right edge upper half. I find that it works quite well. And also you can adjust the hotspot size factor. You can have it for the largest size at 2.5 times. So that way when you swipe anywhere within this red zone, then it'll open up swipe pad. So if I go straight from just at the bezel, it'll open it up. Or if I go change, I set it on the smallest amount just because when I'm scrolling through wallpapers and home screens and such, I don't want swipe pad to get in the way. And then you just swipe in from the bezel or the side of your device and scroll right into whichever app you'd like to add on. Now the add-ons, these are extra add-ons that you can add into swipe pad. Um, you do have to pay for them in terms of getting more space, less space, um, adding widgets, a keypad, things like that. For my usage and what I do for my device and what all apps that I use, I didn't really invest into the paid version. I really like the features and I think if you do use widgets a lot or if you want to add these extra add-ons, it's well worth the money. But the nice thing about Swipe Pad though is kind of like WhatsApp, there is no advertisements. But with WhatsApp, you only get a trial version for X amount of time. With Swipe Pad, you can use it for as long as you like. Now, when you have wherever the hotspot is on your device, you want to scroll in from that side, and generally all of these would be cleared, kind of like this. Clear. So generally it look like this, portal one, and it'll just be blank. You want to swipe right into it and add whichever application that you want to add. What did I have? I had phone there. And you can add phone. And the nice thing about that is this app will work on top of any app that you're using. So it even works on top of YouTube. If I open up YouTube here and let's say there is a new Jay and Dan podcast that I want to listen to. By the way, if you don't watch Jay Onright or Dan O'Toole on TSN, you're definitely missing out. And you really need to follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and listen to their podcast. It's hilarious. But let's say I'm watching their YouTube video. It reminds me of a funny moment that I have with my friend. I can quickly swipe in on the side. The YouTube video will still be running into the back until I open up my messaging application and such, which is a really nice thing to have. So the really great thing about Swipe Pad is you can have it set with 12 applications that you use quite frequently. In my case, I've got my phone, my social media, my Chrome browser, Zedge, Music, Scotiabank, things like that. If you have stuff here that you don't use anymore, like I don't use Soundabout much anymore, and I can just go right over it 
and see if I can show you. Generally, it'll have a blue ring around the app. When it turns yellow, you'll feel a bit of haptic feedback. Then you can change it. You can clear it, you can add all apps, you can add a shortcut or your application, which I find works very well. So once you have that installed, and once you have all of your applications set up in SwipePad, it's very easy to launch other applications. It's almost instant and it works really well. It's very fast. I strongly recommend SwipePad. It's definitely my app recommendation for the day and it goes quite well in hand with your notification weather as well in terms of just getting to your device a lot faster because again normally people have their apps or their whatever set up on their main home screens and you can just scroll to that home screen sure but if you want to get to your content really fast swipe pad is definitely the application for you and the one that you want to download and straight from the side of the device or whichever hotspot you have set up you can quickly access any of the 12 applications that you want to access a lot Again, this is Nick Bastro with Imagine Wireless. More videos will be coming out, so please thumbs up this video, share with your friends, like us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay tuned for more great tutorials, reviews, and a lot more things coming. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.